I've had people comment about my fancy LCD displays with all the data readouts. And for me, those displays have been hugely informative and a little bit of a game changer while mining, flying, refining goods, making components, and really just about everything. So if you want to go from this to this, just watch this video. I'm going to make this super easy and try to go one step at a time by giving you a few specific examples that you'll be able to replicate for yourself. So first things first, where do these displays come from? These data readouts come from scripts loaded into programmable blocks. That's what programmable blocks are for. Now, before you give up and say, you don't know anything about scripts, might give up, might give up. Don't worry. Everything's already been done for you. The script I use for these LCDs is Automatic LCDs. It's a script already created, tested, and has good documentation for you to follow to customize your LCD displays. If you play on a server that has scripts disabled, you can't do this, but many servers do have them enabled, and there's no limitations if you're playing on your own local PC. To locate and load these pre-made scripts into your programmable block, I provide very detailed instructions in my video on programmable blocks. It takes you step by step on how to activate scripts on your game, find the scripts, and get it loaded into your programmable block. Once the script is loaded, you'll be able to start displaying all kinds of information on your displays. Now, this data is not just limited to the big square or rectangular LCD displays you place as blocks. Any of the displays on the various control stations is also fair game for using this script and showing you information. Furthermore, one programmable block can supply the readout to multiple screens. I only have one programmable block that's displaying information on all these large LCD screens. These small corner LCDs, and on my main ship console. I'm going to show you a few special things about setting this up for multiple subgrids and things in a bit, but first let me show you some of my favorite readout examples and exactly what's behind the scenes to display the information. So first is this display of all the ores and refined ingots. The first column shows the type of ore. The center column shows the number of ingots I currently have in storage with a slash that also has a desired target quota amount. I actually don't pay too much attention to that quota. And all the way to the left is the amount of ore I have. I did decide to show a few other items at the bottom that aren't exactly ores like ice, stone, and scrap, and also with those amounts. Now, let me show you how to get this information on the LCD. Remember, there is a script running on the programmable block, and that script is fetching information for us from the game's data. All we need to do is to ask the programmable block to display what data we want on our LCD. We may also want to have other programmable blocks running, other different scripts, so we need to tell the LCD which script we want to use. For automatic LCDs, we do that by putting bracket LCD bracket at the end of the LCD's name. This is a special tag the creator of automatic LCDs made. Different script creators create different tags. Now we're going to go into the custom data field and add what data we want displayed now that this LCD is looking at our script. The creator of automatic LCDs, MMaster, which I assume stands for ModMaster, has a great user guide with a long list of different kinds of data you can display and what the little command words are that you need to use. The entirety of what's available is way too much for this video, but he has a link to the user guide as instructions in the beginning of the script itself. And I've also linked that in my video's description. For this OR and INGOT readout, I'm using the INVENTORY command. And as you can see, it's just simply broken into two parts. There's really not much here, as it's the script that's really doing the work. 
I'm showing the inventory and adding all ORs to the first list with the plus ORs, then asking for another inventory list with ice, stone, and scrap. The NB at the end of the inventory stands for no progress bars. And if I remove that, you can see what it shows. Each ore shows how much ore I have relative to the quota amount that was listed. And it has these long progress bars underneath each ore. Because I'm not interested in the quotas, I can just use an X at the end of the inventory, which doesn't show any quotas, which also means there's no need to hide the progress bars because there's no quotas to measure the progress against. Now, all this is explained in that user guide under the inventory command. So it tells you all these customizations of X and NB and all that. I just went into some depth with this first one so you can get an idea for what you put into the actual LCD to make it display things. So let's look at another one. This one also uses the inventory command but just simply shows all items that are components. Between these two LCDs alone, the automatic LCDs are worth their weight in gold, but they can do so much more. This one shows four different kinds of values that are important to me. The total mass of my ship, which I currently have merged to my whole base, so it's pretty much everything, and what the mass is of my cargo alone. I'm also showing the state of my mothership's landing gear and hydrogen oxygen generators. I'm showing the total percentage of oxygen and hydrogen I have relative to my storage capacity for every connected grid, including the space station and mothership. And really cool here, I'm specifically showing the percentage of hydrogen I have on my hydrogen welder, my hydrogen miner, and my mothership. With an idea of that in mind and what it's showing, let's look inside the LCD at the commands. You can see two commands at the top for the total ship mass and total mass in my cargo containers. Then some information being asked for the landing gear and the hydrogen oxygen generators. The G you see in front of my landing gear stands for group. So you can also fetch data for whole groups of items. That's true anytime you see a G in these commands. Anytime you see an echo command, that is either inserting a blank line on the display or applying some specific text I want displayed. Next is the total hydrogen and oxygen for all connected grids. And lastly, a readout of hydrogen that's targeted specifically to the named hydrogen tank groups I have on each of the three ships. This again is all laid out in the user guide. So you don't have to remember this. In fact, I always go back to the user guide pretty much every time I want to display something different or to see if there's options for a given command. So it's common. Everyone uses the guide. I'm mainly showing you this example so you get to see different kinds of data all being displayed on one LCD. So you can have one command or many commands on an LCD. Now, finally, I'm going to show you another example of using the automatic LCD on the multiple screens we have in most of our cockpits. Here in my miner is one of my favorite LCD display setups, and I'll probably just replicate this for any mining ship I make. I've got several things being displayed. In top left, I have a readout of any damaged functional blocks on the ship and how damaged they are. That has come in super handy when I've been out mining and come under fire. The second one shows things about capacities and has a couple different values like we saw in the last LCD. I'm showing the miner's total volume capacity relative to what my actual volume is. And the actual volume, of course, goes up the more I mine and lets me know how full I'm getting. It also shows the same volume just for my drills. I have the total weight my miner's capable of lifting on an Earth-like gravity planet. That's the 1.1 kilotons. And it also shows what my actual weight is of both the ship and the cargo. And all that is just on one display. But you can see how incredibly valuable that information is for a miner. The top center display shows the 
on-off state for several of my key components. The one just to the right tells me my oxygen, hydrogen, and battery stores. And lastly, the bottom center display shows me exactly how much ore of what type I've mined up in the miner's cargo containers. This has been really fantastic, and I haven't put a programmable block on all my ships, but for ones like this where I really need a good pulse on its content, remaining capacity, its weight, and all that, it's been really helpful. Now, let's take a look at what the custom data looks like because there's at least one unique thing I want to show you here. The at zero auto LCD and at one auto LCD are each pointing to one of the five LCD screens in the cockpit. There's actually a sixth screen, but it's always under my arm, so I can never see that. Any commands for data you want shown are just nested under each of these subsections and are just like any other commands. There's a final bit to show you about these LCDs. By default, the programmable block displays only the items on the same grid. But as you saw, for my bigger mothership, serving as my entire station's readout, I wanted to include any connected grids, even grids connected through a connector. So, in the programmable block itself, I changed this default tag of T colon bracket LCD bracket that's near the top of the instructions to just LCD. The T is what limits it to the current grid. I've only scratched the surface of what these automatic LCDs can do, but hopefully showing you some of my most useful readouts and the commands that fetch that data will help you replicate the same thing on your builds. So if you haven't already, feel free to go back and take screenshots of things or whatever you like. This channel is all about sharing information and entertainment, and I appreciate everyone who watches, comments, likes, subscribes, and has helped make this channel grow. Take care, and I'll be talking to you later.